Hi, welcome back to Impossible 2.0. Next up, I have Virgos. Virgos, the time now is 9.51. 14.15.6. Follow your intuitions. Peaceful compromise. Family matters here. But we already know six is about your intuitions. Okay, so let's begin. Let's begin, Virgos. Let's begin. You're my last reading for tonight. Let's begin. Let's make this a good reading, uh, Virgos. Yes. Let's make this a good reading. Oh. Okay. Late, tired, but. 3D. So somebody's living in the 3D here. Okay. Selling drugs, criminal activities here, materialistic, judgmental. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, there's some type of bad habits here. Somebody's very low vibrational have an unhealthy ego here so let's see what's going on here okay yes light worker so some of you guys may be a light worker here um yes okay when i see 3d and light worker so some of you guys are still you know um it's like in between worlds okay yeah so some of you guys are tire readers spiritual leaders out there spiritual inspiration motivational speakers here yes but it's like in between worlds here okay balancing out the light and the dark here okay high priestess Spiritual gifts, developing your spiritual gifts at this time. Okay, use discernment here. Yes. All right, but developing your, your psychic abilities here. Follow your intuitions. You're becoming more aware of things. Yes, 5D. Uh, yeah, so somebody's trying to connect with you on the 5D. Okay, you're being divinely guided right now. Right now you're vibing on high frequency, but there's an imbalance here. So, you know... When I see 3D and 5D here, there's an imbalance here. So somebody is uh, is evolving and somebody's unevolved here. Okay? Yes. Somebody has unconditional love with you as well. Yes. Side piece came out fumble. So somebody's getting rid of a side piece here. Well, somebody may have claimed to get rid of a side piece here, but is dipping in and out here. It's, it's like, um, you know, how can I say it here? Somebody wants to walk away, but then they haven't fully walked away from a side piece. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Yeah. Yeah. Some shit like this going on here. Yeah. Some of you guys are tarot readers. Okay. So tarot readers, light workers out there, or somebody's getting tarot readings on you, or you need a tarot reading on this situation here. I see Empress. And the high priestess, yes. Ace of Cups came out fumble. Whoa. Okay, so there's like, uh, you have mixed feelings about someone here. All right? You do. With the Ace of Cups coming out fumble, some of you guys may have fertility issues as well, going for some type of IVF. That's for some of you guys. Uh, but it's like a hot and cold, like a love-hate relationship going on here for some of you guys with someone. Okay, yes. Somebody may have lost their child as well, my condolences. But, yeah, you're still releasing pain, too. Yes, new love. So there is a new love coming in for you guys. Yeah. But you're going to be unsure whether you want to deal with this new love or not. Um, you may have been the side piece and somebody's walking away from a... You may have met somebody already in a relationship or you're in a relationship and they're getting ready to leave someone. That's for some of you guys. Okay. But some of you guys are not prepared for a new love here as well. Okay. So because you're still healing from something here. Um, where it's a hot and cold situation here, um, mixed feelings here, but there is a new love coming in. Yes, heart chakra. We're working on your heart chakra here. Okay. Transformation and change. Going with the energy flow. Yes, but there is some type of black magic. Yes, there is. Okay, so I'm going to see what this black magic is about here. Because I did see the magician. I do see the magician and the high priestess here on an empress. Yeah, floodgates. So the floodgates are opening here. Okay, I see abundance, success, prosperity. Okay, yes, a soulmate coming in for you guys. Past life love, a lot of nostalgia here. Libra in reverse. Ooh, okay. So there may be a Libra, uh, there may be somebody stubborn, moody, indecisive around you here. Um, yes, a people pleaser, controlling as well. But there's somebody very shallow here. Something is in balance here. There's an injustice here as well. Low vibrational. Okay. Yes, wounded warrior came out fumble. Somebody wants to somebody wants somebody to give up the fight here. Okay. Yes. But you're not giving up the fight. You're still standing your ground here. But it's like <sighs> taking a rest but still fighting. But you're tired of fighting. It's like an ongoing battle here. Okay. Yes. One more. 
Uranus, Aquarius. Okay, so there was sudden uh, an unpredictable change, tension in the air here, but this is about your independence, you taking the lead, and you know, your inventive power. Okay, some of you guys may be into arts and science, or some type of professors, educators out there, higher learners out there, speak different languages. Uh, yes, but let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on, because this some bullshit already. Okay, this some bullshit already. Yeah. But somebody definitely went to a spiritualist to do this. Or some of you guys are spiritualists out there. Oh, let me go with these. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's wearing a mask here. Okay, somebody's definitely wearing a mask here. Yep. Coffin. In reverse. Your money is about to pick up here. Okay, there's a rebirth. But there's... When I see coffin, that's like the death, Scorpio, right? Somebody doesn't want something to end here. But when it comes to your financial matters, there's going to be an end of financial burdens. There's going to be a turnaround in your finances. Okay, Virgos? Okay, what else? And butterfly transformation taking place here. Okay, so you're changing. Uh, yes, changing. Okay, so sudden change, frivolous spending, short-term loan. So some of you guys may have applied for a loan. You're going to get that loan. Um, yes, somebody may need to borrow money. Be careful with people borrowing money. Um, yes, but there's going to be sudden change. Uh, Uranus, sudden and unpredictable change. Okay, but career, arts, and I said arts and science, movement, temp jobs, and fun work. Okay, so when you do what you love, you're never working. Uh, but there is a fun work. So some of you guys may be working, um, yeah, temp jobs, but I see that you're going to, or a temp office, but I see that you're going to get a job, okay, through a temp agency or some sort. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, but there's movement, for movement. Some of you guys are artists out there, whatever that may be. But let's continue here. Let's continue. Yes, you're gaining your spiritual strength at this time. Okay, staying prayed up, uh, doing the spiritual work, staying meditated, saying your affirmations. Okay, yes, you're becoming one with the universe, awareness, awakening to the truth, be your, becoming your authentic self. Okay, yes, heart chakra, still working on your heart chakra here. Uh, yes, but there's somebody, somebody's trying to come in. There's somebody trying to, yeah, you're moving on. Okay, so some of you guys are moving on from a situation here. You're still healing from past the situation here where somebody put you, possibly put you in a third-party situation, okay? But let's see here. Yes, yeah, the waiting game, going round and around. There's a stuck energy here. Um, yes, when I see this, it's like waiting for something, but it's like um, karmic cycles, um, stuck energy, but it's just going round and around in the situation here because side piece came out fumbled and ace of cups came out fumbled, which means that this may be a karmic partner or somebody that you need to learn a lesson from. 3D and 5D doesn't match at all because somebody's high vibrational and somebody's low vibrational, which is rubbing off on the other person. And if you're a light worker or called to be a light worker or, you know, spiritual leader, then somebody, you have to let go of something here, but something hasn't been fully closed out yet. Okay. Yes. And some of you guys are still working on your shadow side. So you're Going around and around in a situation, there's a stuck energy here, or you may be waiting for some type of change or waiting for some type uh, your circumstances to turn around. But spirit is saying you have to break this cycle, you have to break it. Some of you guys are living in the past, need to release the past as well, because this is a part of your spiritual growth. You cannot grow, somebody's stagnating, something or someone is stagnating your growth. Okay, yes. Yes, hope came out fumble, so it's like. You need to build your spiritual strength. So it's like sometimes you're at a high, sometimes you're at a low. 3D, 5D. Okay, there needs to be balance here, right? So 3D, 5D. So sometimes you're feeling high vibrational, you feel on top of the world, but then you have people around your, your, your you know, you have things about you or people around you that, you know, brings you back down. Okay, so it's an imbalance here. So it's like in between worlds here. Yes, trying to balance out two lives. You cannot. So, like, sometimes you feel hopeful about the situation, and sometimes you feel like giving up hope. Is there, is there, is there still hope left? Uh, you know, whatever that may be. 
but it's like you feel like there's a hopeless situation. Sometimes you feel like giving up and sometimes you don't. But it's like something that you need to work on here or somebody that you need to get rid of. It's something here. Okay? Yes. Somebody wants you to give up hope, though. But coming back to the light. Yes, feeling trapped in fear. Here we go. This is stuck energy. This is, a, this is that black magic. Stuck your head. Confined. Feeling confined. Restricted. Somebody may be in jail or you may be in jail, but you just feel stuck. There's a stuck energy here, okay? Overthinking the situation, overburden here, anxiety, stress, depression. Yes, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Let's see what the truth is. Yes, twin flame. So this may be a twin flame journey, running and chasing dynamic here. Okay. This may be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Not necessarily, yes. Some of you guys are in separation from this person. Some of you guys are going on vacation as well. Some of you guys are journalists or need to write down your ideas or just need to write. Writing is therapeutic. Okay, yes. Uh, you guys are going to school for this, journaling or journalists or communication or English literature or some type of literature. Or you teach this. Yes, delusional. Okay, it, it, it came out fumbled. So, um, yes, so there's somebody here that is driving you crazy or there's somebody here that's bipolar. Um, yes, okay, take some type of medication or, you know, yeah, all right? But, again, you're trying to get out of this toxic situation here. You're trying to get out of your mind here. You feel like, you know, sometimes you feel like, okay, you're snapping out of it. Sometimes you feel like you're going crazy and you're like, you know what? No, but you may be in a crazy situation or somebody may be driving you crazy. And you're like, you know what? I got to take a break. I got to remove myself before I fully go, um, you know, 730 on somebody here. Right? <laughs> okay? Yes, but somebody may be wishy-washy with you. Okay? Somebody may be moody, snap on you. Something like this going on here. Some of you guys may have long hair for a male as well. Yes. Sometimes you feel like a nut. And sometimes you don't. That's that's the shit. Girl. Hold on. Yeah. So yeah. So sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Oh, almond joys got nut. <laughs> mounds don't. So some of you guys may love almond joys or mounds, um, but they both have coconut. So definitely somebody doing sacrifices here, playing with this black magic. So your emotions. Somebody's playing with your energy here. So you may be feeling high and low. Okay. Somebody's manipulating the energy here. Okay. Yes. Fear of loss. Okay. With the fear of loss here, it's like abandonment issues, still healing from past trauma for some of you guys, um, intimacy issues. Yes, so with the Ace of Cups coming out fumble, it's like mixed feelings, hot and cold energy going on here, love and hate. Yes, okay, but yeah, it's fear. It's fear that's keeping you hold. Again, fear coming out. Yeah, yeah, somebody has a side piece. <laughs> Definitely. Somebody has a side piece, and somebody possibly said they got rid of the side piece, but they still dipping and dabbing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Power couple came out fumbled. Okay, so let's see here. Because they're coming out fumbled. So you, you, some, somebody's pulling, out, pulling in the weight. Somebody's doing the work more work than the other. Somebody's pulling their weight, and somebody isn't. That's what's going on here. Okay, yeah, somebody's getting caught up in their actions here in a compromising position here. Somebody hit a brick wall. Some of you guys may have um, live in a brick house or, yeah, you're wasting your time here. You feel like you're wasting your time, but you're wasting time round and around. What I said, round and around in this situation is a waste of time. You cannot build with this person for some of you guys. Okay, yes. Yeah, somebody's missing you, longing for you, wanting to be with you again. Some of you guys may like to look out the window or stargaze as well. Yes, but ex-partner. So somebody can't, if somebody's not completely over you or you're not completely over them, um, yes, okay. You thought that this was a power couple. You thought that, you know, maybe, you know, you can, but this is twin flame, run and chaser. So this was like driving you crazy, overly emotional, emotional roller coaster. So you're, now you're trying to contain your emotions here. But again, there's manipulation taking place here. So let's continue here on this energy here, Virgos, okay. So you're, are you an Almond Joy or a Mounds today? <laughs> That's the question. Are you an Almond Joy or a Mounds today? Because <laughs> I don't think they want the Almond Joy, right? <laughs> 
Yes, playfulness came out fumbled. Okay, so you may be dealing with somebody here that needs to grow up. Okay, so some of you guys are in between. You're having fun, but not too much fun. Some of you guys are just serious. Um, yes, but there's somebody here who's lighthearted. Um, yes, they, they, they know when to be, they know when to have fun and they know when to be serious. That's you. You know when to have fun and you know when to be serious. Okay, yes. Yeah. Love. Yeah. So, yeah. Healing your heart chakra right now. Some of you guys are just focused on love as well. Okay. But you have romantic feelings or somebody has romantic feelings for you. Um, but there's mutual attraction here for some of you guys. There's going to be mutual attraction. Okay. Or it was one-sided, like I said, but business. Okay. You're getting down to business. You're putting your love into your work, coming up with ideas, writing down ideas, doing your research. Some of you guys have your own social media base, web designers, uh, work from home. Um, yes. But... Right now, it's a lot of researching. You're making career moves as well, working on entrepreneurship, okay? Yes. Some of you guys may be left-handed as well. Yes, dating. So some of you guys may have maybe opening up a dating website, or some of you guys may be doing online dating or, you know, um, planning a date here, okay? Doing research on restaurants and stuff like that. Or, you know, but be careful with dates. But I do see a new love coming in for you guys. That's for some of you guys. Or some somebody has a secret, you know, account that they're secretly dating someone, <laughs> dating other people. Side piece. If you're in a relationship, be careful. Um, yes, somebody may be, you know, online dating. Or this could be swingers, okay? You know, you guys are in a relationship and you guys, you know, do online dating as a couple. Like, hey, we're just looking for, you know, a third party, like, to have fun and, you know, shit like that. Swingers, uh, that's for some of you guys. But I do see a date, online dating, and you meeting someone online, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know, open relationship, hey. It does happen. Yes, right now you're focused on rebuilding yourself, okay? Yeah. Um... Yeah, so you're investing a lot of time and effort into yourself. Some of you guys are building a home from scratch. Some of you guys may work in construction as well or, you know, build, uh, building businesses. But you're all about determination and drive, okay? Yes. Breaking down the barriers. Breaking through, breaking generational curses at this time for some of you guys. Yes, travel. Travel may be delayed, okay? Yes, or you, you're going to be doing a local travel. Um, some of you guys may like to drive as well, just clear the air, clear your mind, okay? But travel may be delayed, or you're planning a travel, yeah? Be careful with traveling to see somebody, you know, date, you know, blind dates. Yes, right now your feelings are up in the air. Things are up in the air with you. There's an indecision here um, as well. There's a lack of stability, okay but you're still undecided about a situation here you don't know where you stand in a situation here okay yes yes learning came out fumbled okay now with learning spirit wants you to continue to learn it and to learn and develop your spiritual gifts but at the same time again it's 3d 5d it's some type of it's, it's some type of trying to balance out two worlds here and spirit is saying focus on your focus focus get to this get to the unicorn focus on your authentic uh what your 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 potential focus on your your gifts your talents there you go okay become your authentic self but again somebody's trying to balance out two worlds here okay yes um, some of you guys are giving up on learning or finishing up school here, or yes, there's something happening around property as well, property, okay, but let's see here, yes, yeah, self-image, there we go, yeah, so some of you guys are taking care of yourself, focusing on what you can change, excuse me, some of you guys are going for cosmetic surgery, some of you guys are surgeons out there, or work in the medical field, whatever that may, you know, whatever it is, whatever field that is. But it's like insecurity issues, dealing with insecurity issues. Um, but, you know, somebody, somebody's playing pretend here. Somebody's wearing a mask here. So let's see what's going on here. Some of you guys may have just finished some type of surgery. It doesn't have to be cosmetic. And you're still healing past this as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Botox. Yes. Chaos. Yeah. There may be some type of chaos surrounding you at this time. Black magic. Okay. Some type of opposing forces. You don't know what it is. You may be having problems with neighbors or children as well. Alien. Yes, you feel alienated. You feel like you don't fit in. You may be dealing with somebody of different culture. But, yes. You know, you may be... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, time off. Okay, so time off in reverse. So you feel burned the fuck out. Some of you guys are overworking, overexerting yourself, working two or more jobs here. You just feel like you don't have no time for yourself. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But Spirit is advising that you take some time off. Yes, children came out fumbled. Okay, yes. 
Uh, yeah, some of you guys are thinking about starting a family. Some of you guys, yes. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody that has kids or you don't have kids or, yeah, or, you know, there's problems with having children or you may be dealing with an adult child here. Um, yes, uh, but something about children. Some of you guys have adult children, okay? But, yeah, something about children here. What is this? Coming out fumble. Yes, health. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys may be pediatrician as well or going to school for to become a pediatrician. Um, but you're changing up your nutrition habits, working out again. Like I said, you're setting goals for yourself. Um, yes. Okay, you may work with juvenile as well. Okay, teenagers or stuff like that. Um, you know, helping out the younger crowd and stuff. Something like this. Okay? Yeah. You may not have a good relationship with your children as well. Brick wall, yes. But, you know, uh, there's insurmountable obstacles in the way here, okay? You feel like you're not able to make progress here. Um, but Spirit is saying it's time to do things differently. But things are being blocked out of your life for the highest good. But it's like people can't read you here, okay? Yes. It's like when it comes to your energy, it's like a brick wall. It's like you're stone cold. They don't know how to break down. They don't know how to break you down here, okay? Yes. Yes, but you're all about taking chances. Some of you guys may live in Vegas, Atlantic City, love to gamble here as well. Okay, play dice. Um, yes, but it's leaping into the unknown and taking chances, stepping out of your comfort zone at this time. Okay, the dice has a lot of numbers, so pay attention to signs and symbols at this time. All right, but as uh, again, I, I, I always read the dice. Four is all about your domesticated matters, your money matters. Five is all about changes. Okay, six is about follow your intuitions, family matters, compromising, make a peace. Um, yes, okay. Eight is about manifestation, unfinished business, tying up loose ends. Um, yes, and also abundance. Okay, two is about metamorphosis. Okay, butterfly, transformation. Um, yes. Uh, 10 is about closing out cycles, a new cycle beginning, transition, right? Um, yes, 11, the Ascendant Masters are with you. When you see 1111, make a wish. There may be a soulmate union coming in, but this is all about you, self-reflection and introspection going on here. You are the hermit, right? Virgo is the hermit, okay? But it's all about taking chances, putting yourself out there. You know, you, you never know. You never, you just never know, right? Yes. Yes, bound, yes. This is a stuck energy here. Somebody's doing this magic to, st to stick someone here, to bind them to a situation here. Okay, no forward movement. Feeling restricted, constrained here. Yes, somebody's manifesting, definitely. Somebody's doing this. Okay, I'm going to see who this is. Yes, there's some type of hidden truth. We're going to find out what this is. Some of you guys may like to wear braids in your hair, pixie tails. Yeah, you're very guarded. Some of you guys carry a weapon, okay, as well. Some of you guys may be some type of security guards or um, secret service or, you know, yes, or personal guards. Yes, addictions. Yes, there may be some type of addictions here, 3D. Or somebody may be selling drugs here, popping pills, ecstasy, doesn't matter. But somebody may be, there's some type of codependency here, okay, alcohol, okay, or somebody wants to leave you. This black magic is leave somebody here addicted to some type of substance, yeah. Some of you guys may love to wear leather pants. Yes, you feel like you're at a breaking point. What's going on? You're not getting any sleep, okay? Some of you guys may be married out there as well, but things have become too much to bear. Again, pay attention. Like I said, pay attention to the angel numbers, 111, 222, 333. Pay attention to your dreams, okay? As well, you may be getting dark dreams, okay? Yes, somebody's doing spell work. Bam, I can't make this fucking shit up. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, Halloween. They're doing some type of witchy shit. Somebody did something over the moon phase as well. This may be a Scorpio. Okay, these are people laughing in your face, smiling behind your back. There's some witchy shit. These are witches. Okay, yes. Maybe two or more. Yes, things are happening behind the scenes, behind your back. Okay, so again, some of you guys may be journalists, news reporters. But I do see some type of interview or a promotion of some sort. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys are filming a movie as well. 
Okay, directors, producers, ask your travel again. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. You might you may be having out of body out of body experiences here. Okay, you may be seeing, you could see the person. Okay, pay attention to the signs in your dreams, but you could possibly see people in your dreams. Okay. Yes. All right, let's go. Yes, drama queen. There's a drama queen in your energy here. There's somebody thirsty, uh, causing chaos here. Drama king, drama queen. It could be, it is unisex, okay? Somebody may have black hair. Yeah, threatened. Somebody's wearing a mask here. Somebody's threatened by you, embarrassed here to face you here. Some of you guys may work for the circus or do some type of makeup uh, meeting in reverse. Okay, so somebody doesn't want to discuss this here. Um, some of you guys are doing a solo act here. Negotiations is off the table here. Not seeing eye to eye with people here. Okay. There is no meeting. Okay. Yes. So some of you guys are doing a solo act. Uh, getting out of a collaboration. Yeah. Yes. Unconditional love. So you may have unconditional love for someone or they may have unconditional love with, for you. Genuine. But that doesn't mean that you have to be with that person. You can have unconditional love for that person. But that doesn't mean you have to be with them. Okay. Yes. Yes, children. Children may be involved in this situation here, or you may be dealing with somebody that's childish or immature, or you may work with children, okay? Or children may gravitate to you, okay? Yeah. Yeah, intervention. Okay, so some of you guys are going to some type of program, or, you know, um, you guys are some type of counselors, addiction counselors, whether that's drugs or alcohol here, but there's some type of intervention, okay? Divine intervention, rescue other people involved. Yeah, love. There's definitely love coming in. Uh, but you are divinely loved and cared for as well. Yeah. But realization, yes, uh-huh. Things come to light. Yeah, somebody's uh, living the nightlife here. Somebody likes to gamble and take risks here. But again, yes, there's maybe a lot of gossip and, you know, gossip, jealousy, envious people around you, third-party situation, karmic friends and family. But this may be a third party for some of you guys too many side piece too many people involved here somebody wants to communicate with you here yes yeah, somebody here is lustful there's a lot of lustful energy going on here in hot pursuit but i see things coming to light somebody becoming aware of something here yes Yes, the broom. You're decluttering, okay? Some of you guys are like, you know, giving away clothes or, you know, throwing away stuff, old stuff out your house or, yes, uh, you know, just doing stuff around the house, uh, but throwing out the trash, getting rid of people that no longer serve you, right? Yeah. Emperor, yes, taking control back. Some of you guys are bosses, entrepreneurs, married out there um, as well. This may be an Aries Taurus, okay? Some of you guys are divorcees, okay? But let's see here. There's a boss here. Yes, black car, banking it, babes. There's a, lots of money fucking coming in. Lots of money. Be careful with accidents or chaos surrounding money. Hold on. Okay, yes, but somebody's banking it out there. Okay, be careful with your money. I see a high position, a promotion. Some of you guys are like some top-notch shit out there. Okay, yes. U-turn. Okay, so somebody's spinning the block here, but somebody wants to leave you stagnated. You see, stuck. Okay, but pay attention to the red flags here. Somebody's backing out of something here. Somebody has cold feet here as well. Tree. Okay, yes, earth sign. You may be dealing with an earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, but you're freeing yourself from something here. You're going through a regeneration process. You're growing much stronger. Um, yes, but somebody's stagnating your growth. Okay, stagnating it. Look, stagnating your growth. There's no forward movement. Okay, yes. There's a learning lesson that needs to be that needs to be applied here. Dream. Pay attention to your dream. What's going on in? Okay, so what's going on in? I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, something about a tree, though, okay? So, some of you guys, tree, okay? Some of you guys, uh, you know, planting a tree, but this is all about growth. Something about trees, okay? But this is about spiritual and physical nourishment. You know, trees, when you're feeling low vibrational, go out and hug a tree, okay? Yes, release, kaboom. Okay, yeah. If you have a house, be careful with trees, 
Okay, when I see kaboom, it's like lightning striking or something happening with a tree. You know, be careful. <laughs> I just say, all right, but there's a tower moment happening here. Scorpio energy coming out here. You like a ticket time bomb right now. Yeah. Yeah, snake charmer. Here we go. You're dealing with a player here. Boom. Something came to light here and a people here. Yes. Uh-huh. I caught you. Yes. Realize the realization. Things coming to light here. Boom. Yes. And what I said about coconut. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Whether you are almond joy or a mouse, but I said coconut. Somebody did a sacrifice here, definitely. Okay. Yes, oil and vinegar. You're not seeing eye to eye with people at this time. Uh, there's a lot of disagreements here, but you're all about your come up. Uh, yes, forgiveness. Somebody wants your forgiveness here. You are blessed. You are fortunate, but releasing your past, something needs to be set free once and for all. Okay, but somebody wants to apologize here. Uh, yes, but you need to do a spiritual cleanse, guys. As well, stay prayed up at this time. Okay, yes. Then I'm going to get into this energy, but let me just pull, pull all these cards first. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to give you a half ass reading, Virgos. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video, please. Yes, yes. So somebody's dealing with a lot of traumas. Like I said, childhood traumas that they need to heal. Okay, yes. All right, yes, yeah, somebody's scheming here. We're going to find out who that is. Hidden troops here. Okay, yes. Contemplation. So you're in deep contemplation, especially around nighttime. A lot of nostalgia going on with you. Um, yes, you're remaining incognito as well. Some of you guys may like to wear a lot of black. Uh, yes, healing. Yeah, you're still on the healing journey, doing yoga, Pilates, meditating. Yes, coming back to the light, getting enlightened at this time. Uh-huh. Yes, insatiable. There's a lot of lustful energy coming out here. Okay, somebody likes to loves your lips or wants to kiss you here as well. One more. Yes, gentle. Okay, so some of you guys, uh, somebody's physical touch. Somebody's uh, love language is physical touch, okay, to touch. But somebody may have just had a baby here um, as well. Or you may be finding out about a pregnancy here. Uh, yes, okay. But let's get into this energy here. Oh, gosh. Black magic, spell work, Halloween. Well, Halloween is Scorpio. This is maybe two or more people working on this. Um, yes. Okay. Scheming. Okay. All right, Spirit of Love and Light, please tell me who's doing this. I mean, this fucking shit keeps coming out. I mean, yo. I got to pull my spiritual warfare deck as well after this. All right, let's go. Two of Cups. This is a partnership. Some, I said it's two or more people. Okay. Somebody made a pact here. Uh, somebody may be trying to break up a soul union here as well. Okay. Or somebody's trying to attach somebody with someone here. Yes. Nine of Cups. Okay. Be careful with food and drinks as well but there was some type of sacrifice surrounding food drinks coconut like i said alcohol drinks something like this but somebody wants to leave you addicted to something here whether it's food drinks um uh drugs okay yes uh yeah okay but this is somebody what's somebody desiring here somebody wishing for here some type of collaboration or union here yes ace of wands they're doing some type of candle work here setting intentions okay yes mm-hmm Definitely somebody made an offering here. Yeah, I see some type of stick. You need to sage. You need to cleanse your space and sage. Yes, this is the altar. Doug, again, it's three or more people working on this. It's a group. It's a group of people working on this. Somebody made a pack here. Okay. And I see some type of documents, um, pictures. Yes, it's a group. It's a group and an altar. And somebody's the leader here. Yes. Yeah, the world. Okay, so uh, you may have your own social media. Uh, these people may live a distance from you. Some of you guys, you don't know this person, these people that's doing it. That's for some of you guys. You have your own social media. Um, this is about to close out this black magic or whatever the case may be. But somebody's all over your social media here. Okay, yes, they are. Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, Aries. Leo Sagittarius. Tell me more about this. 
Yes, that's the truth. Okay. Yeah, spirit is protecting you from this. There's a breakthrough coming um, as well. You're gonna get you're you're getting the clarity that you need about this situation here. But there's a breakthrough coming. But spirit is blocking this. Okay, blocking this. It's being deflected back. Yeah, six of pentacles. This is about money as well. This is about money. Um, yes, somebody wants somebody to keep investing in them, but somebody paid for this. Okay, somebody could somebody invested in this. So yes, but this is about money. This is about money. What else is it about? Yes, King of Cups. This is a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be a father figure or somebody that has kids or yes. Okay, this could be somebody that's in love with you, but I see it as, as far as somebody with money. Somebody wants money here, some type of payment, or somebody paid into this pertaining to someone. Or this is somebody, the ringleader, somebody who knows how to do this shit here. Yes, the chariot. This may be a cancer. Okay, but somebody wants to stop somebody from moving forward here. Somebody wants to block somebody from moving forward here. Okay. You may have worked with this person once upon a time. Yes, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. There's two men here. Uh, somebody may be married here as well. This may be a same-sex relationship. Uh, yes, okay. But this is a business person. This is a business person. Um, how can I say? Stable, father figure. Uh, could be in finances as well. Um, yes. But somebody may have father a child on the outside of their marriage. That's for some of you guys. But let's see here. But this is your energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Yes. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords with the Six of Cups in reverse. Ooh, so... Some of you guys may not have children with this person, okay? And again, some of you guys don't know this person. They don't. You don't know these people, okay? That's for some of you guys. You have your own social media. These are a group of people that come together to do this on other people, okay? Yes. Yes, this is this is competition. Mm -hmm. This is competition. Somebody, somebody may have lost their children as well, or you may be dealing with somebody that the kids are not yours. Okay, but this is competition. And again, you're not familiar with these people with the six of cups in reverse at all. Okay. Yes, will of fortune karma is at play here. Yes, you're moving on from the past, though, but somebody doesn't want you to move on from the past. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody doesn't want somebody to make an offer here, but somebody's seeking some type of payment here. Um, yes. Okay, yeah, because somebody's suffering financially. Judgment on them is their karma. Whoever is doing this black magic and whatever they're wishing upon you with the Nine of Cups is being reversed back to them with judgment. Because whoever this this, they went against God. They're trying to steal somebody's destiny here as well with the Wheel of Fortune. They cannot, they cannot steal somebody's destiny. They can't steal your destiny here. Okay? Yes, Nine of Wands. You're not giving up the fight here. These people may live a distance from you as well. I see you ghosting people. But somebody may be suffering financially, loss of home. Yeah, because somebody's successful here. But I see that you're going to be very successful. But they want to leave somebody in an illusion, drinking. You know, yes, this is a family that's possibly doing this shit. Okay, paperwork may have been uh, filed here, but... This is a this is a group of people, okay? Yeah. Be careful with somebody kissing your ass and give you something to eat here. But I see somebody kissing your ass here, or yeah. Mhm. Mm Be careful with gift magic as well. Somebody giving you something here, okay? But I see I see somebody communicating with you. If you have your own online, they communicate with you online, okay? These people. But yeah. Yeah, this is this is this is what this is about here. Oh. Okay, that's well. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, spirituality came out fumbled. Okay, so somebody here is still developing their spirituality. Some of you guys are light workers out there or tarot readers and you're still developing your craft. But yes, whoever this is, it's like a, a dark, they have a dark side. They're not for the light, okay? So be careful with who you watch um, on tarot, on, you know, be careful. Be careful with who you go to for readings as well. Comfort, yes. Comfort is going to be restored in your life as well. But spirit wants you to keep continue to develop your spirituality here, yeah? But you're going to enter in a comfortable state, yes, a halt. But your money is at a halt here. So some of you guys are just, you know, you're dealing with this situation as best as you can. But you need to cleanse your space here. Or somebody's trying to fuck up. Somebody here is trying to steal your intuitions or steal your spiritual gifts as well. When I see spirituality here, it's like somebody here is trying to steal your spiritual gifts. Be careful. But your money is at a halt here. Again, somebody wanted to lay your money here. Reconsider a decision. Uh-huh. Yes, I gotta pick my spiritual wolf here. Yes, parenthood came off fumbled. So some of you guys are not parents out there. Um, yes, but you guys are not taking care of yourself as well. You need to you need to focus more on yourself. Yeah, let con let go of control. Spirit wants you to let go of control and let it flow. Okay, with water. Yes, some of you guys are writers out there. Okay, uh, books, scary books for some of you guys. Yes, occult things. Yes, mistakes. Somebody felt like they made a mistake here, but that's a learning lesson. It's not a mistake. It's a learning lesson here. Yes, transporters. Some of you guys travel a lot for a living. Pilots, stewardess, airlines. Yes, somebody's manifesting as well, but somebody may live a distance from you, like I said. Justice. You're going to get your karmic justice. Some of you guys are going to court, dealing with a Libra. Okay, but things are coming in alignment here. Some of you guys may be police officers or going to school for, yeah, legal matters. There we go. Yeah, some of you guys are going to school for criminal justice or law, taking the bar exams here. Yes, Gaia. Some of you guys may be herbalists or make your own medicine here. Um, yes, go out in nature more. Yeah, but, you know, making things happen, uh, doing things organically or you guys eat organically. Um Yes, the universe is working with you. Believe in a subtle magnetism to guide you. Okay? Yes. But you remain at peace. Just remain at peace. Uh, let me... Before I move... Yeah, let me just get this and then I'm going to pick my spiritual warfare because I have to pick my spiritual warfare. Somebody found out the kid wasn't there and there's either. Yeah, child in reverse. Here we go. Somebody may have lost a child here. My condolences. Or you have adult children or somebody's growing up here. Yes, ninja. Okay, so some of you guys may be black belt, martial artists out there. But uh, moving in silence. Okay, somebody's being strategic here as well. And again, with the all black, somebody's hiding themselves. Yeah, elder. Okay, so somebody went to an elder, a specialist to do this. Um some type of warlock and again this is a man this is a man okay yes but somebody's very traditional here some of you guys may have a long gray beard yes lovers okay so there is a love coming in but there was a choice of love as well gemini yes bartender some of you guys may be somebody may be an alcoholic here okay yes but bartender some of you guys may be bartenders um going out for drinks but somebody may be overindulgent be careful with alcohol okay yes some of you guys work at a restaurant as well yes journalists some of you guys are journalists out there meteorologists but i see a promotion and interview coming okay some of you guys may work for crime tv divination yes some of you guys are tired out there gain an insight on a situation here okay yes learner but spirit wants you to develop your spirituality okay but this may be a student okay trying to learn here yeah and singer some of you guys may be singers out there some type of entertainment industry artists some type of artists okay but yeah um spiritual warfare so let me get my spiritual warfare before i continue excuse me
Yes, somebody opened up a doorway here. Okay. Yes. Look at this. I told you. Entry point to another dimension or energetic source. The threshold between the spiritual and the physical realms. Caution needed. What I said. Between. It's between. Yes. 3D, 5D. What I said. <laughs> somebody fucking around here. Okay, yes, they went to a Babylon. There you go. An uh, elder, okay, somebody who specializes in this. The father of all secrets. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, but karma transfer. So whoever did this is being is being transferred. Okay. Yes, they sent a spiritual attacks. So some of you guys at a breaking point can't sleep. Uh-huh. Yes, fake religious. Yes, these are fake religious people. Okay, yeah. Who... Uh, profess to be, you know, good Christians or godly. Yes, illusions. They want to leave somebody in illusion here. Some of you guys may belong to the LGBTQ, but there's a mind manipulation here. Abundance came out from. Well, somebody's trying to slow up somebody's money here. Or somebody's trying to generate abundance here. Yes, the, this is the Dark Lord here. Okay? The Church of Satan. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Okay, cords, what I said. So somebody's trying to attach somebody with them. Okay, look at this. I said it. Look, it says the astral and etheric energy cords that attach to people together. What I said. Uh-huh. I said this. Uh-huh. Yes, teacher. Yeah, so some of you guys are some type of spiritual teachers or teachers out there. Okay. Using your spiritual experiences. Yes, some of you guys are seers as well. Some of you guys may like to wear different color wigs. Okay. Or dye your hair different colors. Somebody's doing a background check on you. Yeah, you guys are impasse, so you could keep, you you could pick up on energy here. Yeah, these are what I what I said. <laughs> what I said. They're what? Some of you guys don't even know these people. They're strangers. Okay. Hiding. Yeah. Hiding and spying and gang stalking you here. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, everything is happening in time. Yes, there's dark forces. They made. They did a spirit. They did a secret ritual here. Uh huh. Yeah, shapeshifters. You may see them one way. You may be having dreams of people familiar to you, but when you see them, it's not the same person. Pay attention to your dreams. But these are shapeshifters. Okay. Yes, you're ascending right now. Okay. Yes, somebody's trying to bait somebody in. This could be love magic as well. Yes, but there's a breakthrough coming. Some of you guys may be into crystal work. Yeah, what I said. Somebody sacrificed something here. Blood is on their hands, and that's the yeah, that's the truth. Sort of truth. That's the truth. Okay. Yes, they're hacking into your account all over your shit. But there's a reversal happening here because whoever they did this to have a high rank in the spiritual realm. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to sh they try to shatter somebody's mind here, but somebody's well protected here because they high rank. Their high rank, your spiritual rank, your spiritual rank based not on your physical age, but your spiritual experiences, your position within the spiritual realm is high, and you're well protected. They try to fuck with your health here as well. Yeah, you guys are some type of light worker. This is a high level demon here. Okay, a fake guru. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I see health. Yeah, follow your intuitions, but they're trying to block your intuitions here. All right, or steal somebody's spiritual gifts here. They cannot. You're well protected. Okay. Wow. Now that that's over with. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to pick the hidden truth here and the new love. All right. So let's see what this hidden truth is. King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse is a con artist here. This person is low vibration, materialistic, uh, money hungry, greedy, vicious, uh, could tell lies as well. Okay, could bribe people. All right. Yeah. This person is very dangerous as well towards Capricorn Virgo. This person could be married. King of Swords. Okay, King of Swords is uh, a question on Libra. This person may have legal matters or be um, some type of criminalist or coming up with always coming up with some type of grand scheme here. Um, yeah, the law may be on this person's ass as well. Um, yeah. 
but I see some type of truth coming out here, yes. Somebody's defending this person. Somebody may have a lawyer and somebody's defending this person or this person is defending themselves here. Yeah. Yes, tower. Somebody's trying to so try, somebody's trying to avoid the inevitable. Somebody is trying not to have a tower moment, but it is gonna happen, Scorpio. Yes, Co concerning a family or a marriage here. Yes, three of wands. Okay, there's a waiting game. Okay, so somebody's planning something here. Yeah, somebody may be planning to abruptly leave a situation here. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, empty promises. Somebody's taking a long time to pay somebody their money here, or somebody possibly was stealing money. Something happened pertaining to money here, but something is moving slow. Yeah, somebody may be doing a lot of time in jail here, okay, or stuck in a situation here. Um, stuck in the, yeah, there's a stuck energy here, or somebody, somebody may have to do a lot of time here, this could be one of your family members, this could be your, your husband, or, um, brother-in-law, yeah, or a friend of yours, but somebody may ha be having to do a lot of time here, yes, the hermit, I see ghosting, spying going on here, Virgo, yes, nine of cups, nine of cups, and four cups yeah with the nine of cups here somebody may be doing emotional drinking or drugs okay with the four cups there's a disappointment um yes missed opportunities here as well somebody may be stubborn um yes but there's somebody here spying on somebody uh, manifestation taking place and their um their cups their cups are being filled and somebody here is missing opportunities that's what this is okay mm -hmm. Yes, Seven of Cups. There's a lot of cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yes, there's a lot of illusions, daydreaming, fantasizing here. Nostalgia, reminiscing. Yeah. Okay, yes. Devil. Okay, so somebody is toxic here. Yeah, yeah. Somebody may be going to court, but I see some type of truth coming out in a situation here. Yeah, somebody's holding back here. Okay. What happened here? Yeah, somebody may have done something impulsive. Okay, yes, somebody may have done something impulsive, possibly somebody unalive, somebody here as well. Okay, but there's some type of truth coming out about this. Yeah, some some type of truth coming out about somebody deceptiveness here. Okay, yes, uh, 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 doing something here to harm somebody, you understand. Okay, yes, possibly somebody younger, okay, or a child here. Yeah, okay. In a family situation. But somebody may have harmed somebody um, due to some type of money or stealing here. Um, but somebody younger. not a, I wouldn't say a child, but I would say younger. Like 20-something or possibly teenager. 18, 19. Or yeah, but younger than them. Okay? Yeah. Okay, let's see what this who this new love is. Yes, yeah, nine of wands. Somebody's not giving up here. You're very, you're very guarded here. This may be a Sagittarius, but this is a soulmate coming in. Somebody wants to make peace. Somebody wants the forgiveness here, as well. Nine of Pentacles. This person could be married, financially secured, but yeah, some of you guys are financially secure. Yeah, this is a Two of Cups. This is a partnership coming in, soulmate. Yes, the devil. This may be a Capricorn, but this may be a karmic soulmate. Careful now. Careful. Uh, yes, there's an obsession going on here as well. Yeah, there may be a family involved here, a toxic family involved in this situation. Yeah, that's um, holding yes. You want to free yourself from this once and for all. Okay, yeah. Queen of Swords, I see you speaking up here. You're, you're overwhelmed. You're overburdened, overwhelmed here. You're tired of holding it together. The secrets, the lies. You're tired of the secrets and the lies. Yes, the money. Yeah, you want new beginnings for yourself, but there's some type of secrecy about some type of money, property, business. But there's a new love coming in. Somebody's going to send you a message here, possibly a Libra. Somebody's going to be fair here, but there may be fights and arguments in court over money, over time. Um, yes, bail, something here. 
Uh, it's going to be fights and arguments here. This may be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra that's going through this. Yes, possibly have kids or they're going through it with their own family or something like this. Again, you may not have kids with this person or they may already have kids, like I said. Okay. Oh, this is somebody from your past that you, yeah, but this is a soulmate. But this is somebody, somebody, it's complicated here. This could be over property as well. Okay, yes, it's a waiting game. It's a waiting. Okay, hold on. Yeah, somebody family may be in the mix of this. Uh, yes, you may come from a toxic family or toxic background. Somebody family, it's like people don't agree with this. It could be brothers, sisters, going to court. It's, it's a lot going on here. Um... Yes, okay, but struggling, trying trying to keep it together here, trying to keep it together here, okay, but this new love is complicated here it it comes with it comes with a it comes with some bullshit, okay, yeah, all right, um, let me pull some tarot. let's get out of this energy here, all right, spirit, give me two cards to start off. uh verbal reading, please. You know, somebody may have passed away and stuck in a contract, stuck in some, it's, it's a lot, there's a lot going on here. Yes, Ace of, Ace of Swords. Okay, some type of truth, clarity, breakthrough. I see you set those healthy boundaries and you're speaking your truth, but there's some type of truth coming out here or somebody wants to speak their truth here. Okay. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, yes, manifestation. Somebody's manifesting here. Somebody's manifesting communication here. Or somebody has to give a gap here. Okay, but definitely somebody is doing some type of fucking magic here and your energy here. But again, spirit is blocking this. Okay, this may be a Gemini or a Virgo. Okay, there's somebody who has to give a gap here as well. Okay, there's a lot of visualization and manifestation taking place here. Yes, five of cups. Somebody's grieving. Okay, so somebody may have passed away, my condolences, but there's uh, regret, loss, missing you, missing someone here, okay, depressed, heartbreak, okay, yes, ace of, uh, ace of wands, okay, yes, ace of wands is some type of paperwork, some type of message was found out here as well, excuse me, okay, or uh, yes, something, some type of contract or some type of paperwork being sorted out here, but some, some type of news that... Uh, yeah, it was, it was sad news, okay? But let's see here. Ace of Wands is a message, some type of paperwork. Let's see here, okay? Yes, Seven of Cups came out fumble. You're, 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 you're very confused about the situation. And again, there's an illusion, there's confusion, there's a lot of fantasizing, daydreaming, but you're weighing out your options here. You're trying to figure out what the fuck to do here in this situation. Again, with the magician, somebody has to give a gap. Somebody knows how to speak here. Somebody's highly intellectual here. They know how to, they know what to say at the right time. But trying to figure out here what to do here, okay? Yes, the, the Hierophant, okay. Taurus energy. This is God factors here. Somebody went against God as well. There may be religious factors, but somebody may be married here. Okay, so let's see here. Or somebody may be a widow. Yeah. Knight of Swords. I see some type of communication taking place here. Somebody possibly serving somebody papers here as well. Somebody, you know, coming in uh, assertive here. Uh, possibly asking a lot of questions here. Knight of Pentacles here. Uh, where's the money? Okay, empty promises. Somebody may have promised to settle down with someone or this was a marriage. Some of you guys are already married, okay, or don't know what to do with this marriage here. T possibly found out somebody was fucking around here with somebody else here through some type of email or message that was found out here. You may have invested a lot of time in this marriage for some of you guys. Um, yes, but somebody had a lot of options. Somebody had options here in a marriage. Um, yes, but again, there was a lot of time invested here um, for some of you guys, but... You know, it's like a routine, same old routine, okay? Yes, being patient about it. Um, give yourself time to heal past the situation here. But let's see here. Yes, the chariot moving forward, okay? Yes, I see that you're moving forward. You're all about overcoming your obstacles. You have success on your mind. Here, you're all about hard work. But you feel like your money is picking up slow. Okay, or you, your, yeah, your money is picking up slow, but spirit is saying, keep putting in that hard work. Okay, for a sword, for a sword, you're icing people out at this time. And again, some of you guys may like to um, go for drives as well. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. 
some of you guys are just going to be leaving a situation here without saying anything. Um, yes. But with the Four of Swords, it's like planning something here. You're planning. You're planning something here. Thinking about something here. Coming up with a plan here and going to execute it. Somebody may have left somebody behind here. Empty promises. Yes. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're thinking about your money. Okay. With the Ace of Pentacles, giving yourself new beginnings, there is an offer coming in as well. You're not going to see this coming. Some type of unexpected money here. Um, but you're trying to come up with a plan to make money. Okay? Making money moves. Planning for your future here. This may be a promotion. This could be a new relationship. This could be um, a new job. But let's see here. Some type of property. Yeah. You're thinking of, yes, this is a family, okay? So, yes, some of you guys may have invested a lot of time in this family here. Um, yeah, some of you guys are married, but this may be a family. Somebody may want to settle down here or somebody, um, you know, you thought that you were going to settle down with someone. But, again, some of you guys are already in a relationship, yeah? But let's see here. But, yeah, two of pentacles. Yes, this is a this is an instability in a family here. Okay, somebody's doing one person is doing more than the other, or somebody was juggling in a family here, or it's a finances is an imbalance with finances here. Yes, okay, but it's about balance, adaptability, flexibility going on here, but too much going on at one time. Borrow money to pay back money. Yes, borrow money is about money. Okay, money, property, somebody not knowing what to do here in this situation. Uh, try, again, short loan. So there is a short loan coming, but it's like too many things going on at one time. Okay, somebody else's family may be involved, a neighbor, something going on here. But there's a business, there's property, there's inheritance, there's finances. There's a lot of money involved here. Okay, and trying to come up with this money here. How do I do this? How do I do this? Okay, yes, Queen of Pentacles, this is your energies again. Um, but right now, you just focused on your money, your family, being a good provider here, hard work. You have a good business sense, but there may be a businesswoman involved here or a property owner or, you know, real estate. There's something going on here, okay? But there may be a marriage here as well. Yes, Nine of Pentacles. Lots of, lot of pentacles here. With the Nine of Pentacles here, this is somebody that's single, abundant, you know, not a care in the world. That's, this is somebody here that entertains their self. Um, yes, okay, people come to them. But this is about somebody's independence and their finances. Okay, so somebody's trying to get their finances in order. But there's a lot of money involved in this situation here. And there may be a death here as well. Okay, but let's see here. Somebody's trying to get, yes. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Here we go. Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Then we have a mother figure here, mother-in-law, baby mama, or you have kids, or this something going on here. But then here goes um, somebody else in the mix, possibly money hungry. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Asking you for money as well. Or you're helping out a parent here or a mother-in-law. There's somebody else in the mix here. Well, let's see here. Yes, somebody who has kids, okay, so this is somebody with, uh, with children, this could be your own mom or somebody else's mom or, again, sister, brother, but somebody that you know for a long time from childhood, okay, but there may be children involved. Yes, somebody seeking payment, there we go, somebody seeking payment, um, you know, where's my money, blah, 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 this and that, or this could be family, okay. But somebody's seeking some type of money. I do see a new job coming through for you guys as well. Um, some of you guys are seeking payment. Some of you guys are getting payment for children as well. Some type of back payment. Uh-huh. Yes. Knight of Wands. Somebody may have had friends with benefits here and had a child on the outside, like I said. Um, but you're moving forward fearlessly. There's negotiations taking place in terms of money and payment for children. Figuring out if these children are theirs. DNA testing going on here. Yes. Okay. But, yes, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. This is going to be a long-term payment here. But somebody may have been fucking around for a very long time here um, as well. Okay? But right now, you're trying to rebuild yourself. You're focusing on your money. You're putting in that hard work, but you don't see any growth. But there may be a long-term payment here. And somebody's trying to figure out how to do this payment. Somebody may have rushed into something prematurely without thinking about it in terms of property or what somebody rushed into something prematurely without thinking about it and it and it came back to bite them in the fucking ass and now there's a lot of money involved here 
okay? Yes. Yeah, in, in terms of a property. That's what I'm saying. It's a long-term payment here. And now they're stuck. Somebody's binded by a contract here. Um, yes, yeah, stuck in this situation or somebody's stuck in a marriage here or in an institution here, whether that's a mental institution because I did see delusional mental institution or somebody's claiming to be crazy here or there's some just somebody just fucking locked up or you're locked up. But somebody may be buying into a contract here or in a marriage here where there's a lot of money and property and now somebody's seeking payment. There's a lot of bullshit going on here. Okay, I have to end this. Okay, yeah, somebody's stressed the fuck out. They're stressed the fuck out. But there's a lot of competition here. A lot of competition, arguments, clash of egos, fights. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, this is what I have here. Hold on. This could be um, children. This could be college as well. College, student loans. It's an institution. It could be a business as well. Yeah, you know, it's something like that. Okay? But let's, 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 let's continue. Yes, snake. Yeah, you have snakes around you here, but you're shining skin. Okay, be careful. Some of you guys may be wanting to hear the snake, but somebody's wrapped right around you, but get careful with temptation as well. Too good to be true. Schemes, stuff like that, and get yourself binded into some shit here. Okay? But shedding, you are starting to outgrow your work situation. You need to set higher goals and standards. You work well with in healing and medicine. Okay, yes. So, yeah, so some of you guys be, again, heal, some type of healer, herbalist, or medical field. Yes. We're going to school for that. Somebody may be suing for medical malpractice as well. Yes, carrot. Okay, social event, important connections, hidden opportunity, and grounded. So, yeah, so there's some type of social event coming up. I see important connections, hidden opportunities coming up for you, and this is going to ground you here, okay? And scallion, your enemies will be defeated. Harmony, agreement, and completeness. So there's an agreement coming. There's some type of completeness, and your enemies will be defeated. Like I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get one of these. And I'm closing out your reading. Virgos, intuition, wisdom, gifts. Yes, yeah, somebody's trying to fucking steal somebody. Intuition to your spiritual gifts. Yes, okay. But follow your intuition. Six. We started with six. Honor your innate ability to see psychically and trust your gut feelings. Trust your guidance and the vibrations you feel. When you truly step into your abilities, all of your senses rush in. Look into expanding your gifts, what I said, by taking classes, journaling, meditating, and listening to your inner voice. Boom. Everything I was just saying. Okay. But that's all I have for you, Virgos. Okay. So are you an almond joy or, or mounds? Okay. But <laughs> I love you guys. I have to go now. I'm possible. You're possible. Your girl, Tosh. I'm out.